Today is February 26th, I believe. Episode 13 with Road Trippin' with Brandon, Russell, and Paul. And even if they were like switched over there, it definitely could have been like still, Paul, still, still figure it out. Brandon, and Russell. Dude, you had me messed up when you said Brandon bring us and I was like, what? I'm like, no. This is all wrong. I wasn't going to do it. Well, Brandon, usually I hand off the mic to you, but today I'm going to hand it off to Paul. Oh, I was going to say to myself. Open, opening thing. What, what's going on with your life, Paul? Or a subject? Or what are you drinking on? <laughs> well, I'm drinking. <clears throat> it smells and tastes just like warm apple cider. Mmm, dude. Yes. It tastes like an apple. Is there <laughs> alcohol in this? A little bit of alcohol. It's not too strong. Me and Cody made some awesome move and shine out of the uh, apples, apple pie, uh, cinnamon sticks, like the whole sticks. Oh, okay. Uh, sugar, brown sugar, white sugar. It's pretty delicious. Oh, you brown sugar? It? Oh, man. It took like, uh, we had to make little stills out of copper and boil them <laughs> 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 in the oven for a day to get the mash right. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And then we used a whole bunch of straws to capture the moisture and drip it in. That's pretty baller. <laughs> so it's like yeah. a super distilled. So this all will happen like while I was like out like doing Mardi Gras weekend again. I was gone most of this week or weekend anyways. I didn't get back here till this morning. How do you and spell Mardi Gras? Because I spelt it M A R D I G R A. S. Gras. There's an S at the end of it. Yeah. Mardi Gras. 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 No girls with bras. Showing their tatas. For beats. Did you get to do anything besides park this time? Did you see any? Uh... Nah, dude. All day, every day, just park. But it is what it is. It wasn't too bad. I mean, I had a good time this time, but man, my feet hurt. It's worth every penny, though. Uh, although this weekend was definitely more packed. I saw some really nice cars, though. This one lady. She... I don't want to hear about. I want to hear about the boobs you saw. You didn't see any boobs? No, dude. <laughs> Damn no. It. I know it was a really <laughs> shitty Mardi Gras for me. Like it's. It's never happened. It, it always works out nicely, but not this time. Uh, not a single boob? Not a single boob. No boobs. No boobs at Mardi Gras for Brandon. You and type in Mardi Gras Galliston into Google. Google just goes ahead and redirects you to uh, Mardi Gras Galliston flashing. Because <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, it knows what you want. Well, of course it knows, but I mean, at the same time, too, though, I was working parking. I wasn't actually, like, on the strand where everything's, like, happening. So that's, like, the crap part about that job, but whatever. No, Angela, you cannot have my jacket. <laughs> well, if you show him your boobs, you might be able to get it. <laughs> that's, that's a good possibility. But this is, like, the Kuyu, like, awesome hunting jacket. Like. Oh, yeah, that's true. You can't get that one. <laughs> I need more than boobs to give this one away. Well, you know what? Why don't, why, don't, why, don't we just, why don't we just redirect people to Kuyu's page, and uh, you should all buy jackets from them. They're really nice and lightweight. That, we'll do a little free advertisement today. Why not? Fuck yeah, dude. Kuyu is a shit. I like their pants. Since we're talking about boobs. Okay. How do you start a conversation with, like, a random girl? If, like, you think a girl's cute and you want to, like, kind of maybe talk to her. Like, do, oh. you, do you start a conversation with, like, a girl just because? Or does she have to so, show, like, some type of interest? Well, I mean, usually they show absolutely no interest when you're first walking up to them if you don't know them. They're usually in the middle of whatever it is they're doing. So you have to go interrupt whatever it is they're doing. Yeah. But uh, you have to have, like, something you worthwhile gotta to You got to interrupt in a, you know, in a nice way. Yeah, in a nice way. Just, you know. Don't say anything about their hair. <laughs> no. Yes. Never do that. Never do that. If it's bad. I don't know. I don't know. Like, a compliment goes a long way these days, I would say. No, just, what if they indicate that they're interested? Oh, why why is it do? always? Is it is it always? No, uh, I wouldn't they're, say so. They're not. See, I wouldn't no, pay attention. No, dude, come on now. It's what I don't know what century we're in now, but uh, nah, dude. Twenty first. Like, women are. I don't know, man. Women do whatever <laughs> they want these days. Like the world's a different place than it used to be. Cause like I will never, except in South Padre, a long time ago. That was the only time I like ever hit on girls, even if they weren't interested in me. <laughs> <laughs> but I will never like talk to a girl at a bar or. Just a random girl at the gym, even though I know she's looking at me or I'm looking at her. Oh, dude. Like, I won't start a conversation. Like, you have to, like, smile, like, say something like, hey, that's a nice shirt. Like, something simple. And then I'll start talking to you. But I can't, like, just start, like, a random conversation with her. Like, I don't know. The most words I think I've ever said to a girl at a gym is, like, hey, are you using that? 
<laughs> you, you point at your crotch, <laughs> or like, oh, you mean like a machine? Okay, yeah, okay. something similar to that. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe I should start that way, Paul. You want to use this? You want to jump on this? Like, we can, we can, we can, do, we can work in together. <laughs> no, I guess. Uh, I mean, uh, I guess you guys have the luxury of being uh, above average looking. I, I, I don't have that luxury. I always have to work for it, so it's. Approaching women that have nothing to want to do with me <laughs> is uh, is the name of the game for me. I don't believe that for like one second. I'll tell you what though. <laughs> There's this one girl when I was out at Margo. She made me feel real good about myself. Like she was like, "What's up, sexy man?" Like she actually looked pretty decent. I was like, "Oh shit!" I was like, "Nothing, just taking people's money." What she look like? Uh, I mean, she was like Hispanic girl, probably about five four, five five. Look good. About it. I don't believe that for one second. You've never <laughs> a girl's never. You're like you're not ugly, Paul. I'm, I'm not saying <laughs> never, but I'm saying not always. I know, but you just said like you were um, less than attractive. You're attractive. What are you talking about? Yeah, dude. You got that nice baby no, skin. No, uh, you guys, you guys are like. You just got nice baby skin. You, you put that doo doo butter on your face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? I do, I do, I do do the uh, Dead Sea mud facial. <laughs> yeah, I, I've never seen anybody. I've never seen a dude actually like take care of his face like I've ever seen Russell. Like it's walking to the. It's, it's it's borderline metrosexual. After covering my face with uh, a whole bunch of Dead Sea mud, I ordered off Amazon. It was like really cheap. Stuff feels awesome. Anyway, so you put it on your face and it dries out. But like I just walked into the living room while Brandon's like watching a Super Saiyans fight. Yeah. And uh, the sec. No, I don't know. Oh, the the blacker one. And then uh, he just is like, is that doo-doo butter on your face? <laughs> you got shit on your face, bro. I'm like, yeah, bro. You never rub that shit in. Like, <laughs> it's good for you. Gross. <laughs> but yeah, he just came out looking all like swamp thingy. And I had to call him out on it. But the I mean, it's probably good for awesome. you. Don't get me wrong. But it's when it dries. It's a cool feeling because you can't. It's like it's like you've got Botox because everything's locked up. It's all tight. So tight. I mean, I understand how it works. I mean, it probably just soaks into your pores and just pulls out whatever, like, toxins you got in there. And so, okay, we'll be, real quick, off. be more specific. You're starting a conversation with a girl. Like, just okay. give me, like, the last one, like, a random girl. Like, it could be one you work with or one you just met at, you know, the grocery aisle in Walmart looking for uh, Ajax or something. Ajax and Marbrush? Yeah. Um, it's usually just, like, I don't know. Half the time, all I'm really looking for is to get help with something. So I'm just like, hey, uh, do you know where that's at? I'm like, I, I don't work here. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've never gotten that re response. No, what about the girl uh, two weeks ago at the bar in Little Woodrow's? Midtown, Little Woodrow's. Oh, was you talking to a girl for a while? Oh, I think I just turned over my... Sh yeah, I was. I how did I that just, conversation start? Um, I think I just turned over my shoulder. And then, like we were talking about like how long it took to get a drink. And was like, oh, I was situational. like, situational. Yeah, it was a situational thing. I was like, man, who's like, do I got a hump to get a drink here? And she's like, tell me about it. <laughs> and that's and when your eyes locked, and you're like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's a good story to uh, tell your future grandkids, right? Yeah, that's like sure. a good. <laughs> sure. When uh, Brandon moved his shoulder. When little Billy, or uh, yeah, I guess Ignacio, was, whatever your grandkid's Ignacio, name is yeah, no. going to be, he's sitting on your little Maurice, like the little gangster of love. Oh. Pa Papa Brandon, how did you and uh, <laughs> Grandma Mom. Josephine meet? Was she was she a Mexican girl? She was Hispanic, yeah. At least I think. I mean, she. I don't know. I don't like to toot any horns on anything, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> she probably was. Maybe that's, I don't know. That's profile. Yeah, that's profiling. I oh, you're know. profiling that she was a mom. No, no, I didn't even say she was a mom. She wasn't a mom. I didn't ask her if she had any kids. Oh, maybe I was just assuming. <laughs> 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 oh, man, cut that part out, Paul. That was just too much for me to handle right now. But okay. anyways, no, like, no, like, to go back to what we were talking about, yeah, it was completely situational. Okay. Remember last time we went on a cruise when we were, like, 18 in high school? Mm -hmm. Have you been on, like, a cruise since then? No. Dude, me neither. Like, I was thinking about that earlier, and I was like, man, me and Paul went on a cruise when we were, like, 17 or 18 in high school, and uh, I had, like, the best time, and I was like, how come I've never, like, been on a cruise again? I don't think it's going to get any better. What do you mean? Because we had, like, I don't know, like, I feel like if I went now... Do you have money now? Yeah, true that. 
no. to that. But we had fun with like no money. Like what? We spent yeah, like how much more twenty dollars you can have with more money? Oh. Yeah, I had I had like my first job, and I took like hundred dollars cash, and that lasted me that whole week. Probably. Really? Yeah. Impressive. Because was all the food free though? On the boat, for the most part. Like, if you, you have to hit the meals right. Yeah. Like, you have to be oh. there for breakfast. When they, actually, when they actually serve it. But if in between that, you have to pay for food. All right, that makes sense. But, dude, I remember, because we rented scooters, that was probably the most expensive thing we did. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, like, remember, like, we were, like, looking, you were looking for a necklace for, like, Ashley or something? Yeah. Like, some type of jewelry. And we'd, like, just walk by the jewelry shops, and Mexicans would give you, like, Rob free shots store. of tequila. Yeah. Said They'd give you, like, for two shots, and they'd be like, hey, my friend, come in and get free shots. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. And so me and Paul were getting fucked up on these scooters, <laughs> just like looking for jewelry. I started looking for jewelry for like. Dude, that's the most gangster shit I've ever heard. Me and my boy, we were getting drunk, riding around on scooters, <laughs> looking for jewelry, like Debo out on next Friday. Dude, I, we got off looking the boat. for a smoky. Oh, I better hide my chains. We get off the boat, and Paul's like, "Or no, we had an idea of renting scooters, maybe before that. But as soon as we All saw right. a Mexican dude with scooters, me and Paul were like, "Fuck yeah, we're renting scooters." <laughs> but did we even have a license then, or no? I don't think y'all well, did. I think no, we had I was, driver's license. It was like 18, 19. Yeah. But the guy wanted a license to rent the scooters, and I think we lied and said we didn't have our license. Like, not with so you. So he couldn't, like, take them from us? I definitely oh, lied. That was smart. Yeah. That was smart. I lied about you lie riding uh, <laughs> anything motorized with two wheels before, that's for sure. I remember yeah, the first, thing, the first thing he said it was like, y'all know how to ride the scooters? And then uh, I was like, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, of course. And Paul's like, oh, yeah. And then he sits on the scooter. And Paul's, did, I mean, that's the first time. I yeah, don't think I've you knew the concept a, that the uh, the gas was bit, built into the grip. So like yeah. you twist it and you go. <laughs> so Paul sits down and puts it in gear <laughs> and just <laughs> woo, it starts going. And the Mexican dude is just looking at us like <laughs> Paul's driving into the sunset. <laughs> the Mexican <laughs> dude's throwing his sombrero at us, <laughs> and I'm catching up to Paul. Paul's that's going shit. against traffic <laughs> because the well, island. They the drive. They <laughs> drive oh, on the other side of the road over there, I think. Yeah, the yeah, island yeah. was on the. Uh, I mean, the, the road was I, on I the opposite side. I got you. It's, it's backwards over there, yeah. And so Paul's going against traffic, and I'm catching up to him. I'm like, Paul, what are you doing? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Need, need vodka. <laughs> Hey, maybe if you would have given him vodka and gotten him drunk, he would have made the right side of the road the wrong side of the road. He would have been all right. Dude, yes. <laughs> and then we just stopped at, like, random places. We paid, like, two for a dollar, like, Seoul. I think it was Seoul. Was, oh, was it was beer? Yeah, yeah, it was, like, dirt okay. cheap. Yeah. I can't see that. And we I just mean, eat, like, chips there, and salsa. We pay, like, two dollars, leave, like, a dollar tip, and then we roll bounce. We need to go. For That's sure. what I'm saying. Like, I don't know why we yeah. haven't gone on a cruise again. Like, why I've never been, like, since then. That's, like, go. ten years later. Let's do it. Shit, I'm ready. Since oh, Thor has a hammer, yeah. I decided to get you another tool. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 you gotta have something if you're gonna be wearing a cape. <laughs> I know we have a hammer. I couldn't find it. <laughs> yeah, hold it. I'm just gonna put this down before somebody gets hurt. Dude, but that'd be a good. That's like an underrated superhero weapon. <laughs> well, think about it. Like if you get, if you, the, if you get like knocked, if off. you get put in like a jail, you can cut your way out. In like five years. But the only per the only superhero that's ever been to jail on purpose was uh, what did Will Smith play? Oh, uh, oh God, good question. What was the name of that? Where movie? he was like super. Oh, it started with an H, didn't it? Uh, not I why am I now? I just all I want to say is hacksaw. But I know, like, uh, <laughs> it wasn't, and now, now I want to say hitch, but it's not that either. Uh, God, what was the name of that movie? Hancock, 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 Hancock. What's the last gift you've ever received? Gift of life. I didn't forget. I got it you. this morning. <laughs> no, like a real gift. Somebody gave you something. Oh, um. What about you? Oh, you got me something. I forgot what it was. Uh, but you did get me something. I think it was like a battery or something. I don't know. Something cool. Right, Philip, you're so gay. I, already, I can read that from here. <laughs> it's like so tiny. You're, you dick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, what a fag. Uh, yeah, I think it was like a battery or something. I don't remember. Dude, me too. A battery? Yeah. I gave you all batteries? I think so. <laughs> you got me so no, 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 no. It was a... Uh, Russell gave us batteries. You know what it was? It was that, uh... <laughs> it was that, uh... What do you call it? The foregrip. 
Oh, the foregrip to your AR. I remember, okay, your last gift, I'm pretty sure it should be mine, but uh, I gave you underwear. <laughs> oh, that's right. I remember those two. Technically... I haven't worn those since. <laughs> no, because that was the day before Valentine's. And then... Oh, fuck. And then, I guess, what did Trish get me? She got me some chocolates and a card. Okay. <laughs> but the underwear is much more valuable. Oh, you know what? I got a jacket. I think my um, mom gave me a jacket. Paul was so depressed when he said chocolates and car he like slammed his hand and everything is <laughs> like Stupid way, to be, way to be original trish what'd you get trish roses <laughs> yeah <laughs> in a card dude what's amazing what is... were you expecting paul like a, a wrench or something <clears throat> so our, our valentine's our day was tuesday so that tuesday um i woke up uh-huh. and um she was already gone for work. I haven't gotten her anything at this point. Okay. Uh, so it's Valentine's Day. And I go to work for a few hours. I'm like, shit, I should probably get her something. So I'll go to the flower shop off uh, Maine. It's and like they're out of it. It's a night in Maine. <laughs> where all the Mexican flower shops are. Sure. And I've never seen so many, like, Camaros. Corvettes, old Caprices on 24s and big rims. Okay. Like all of the, uh, all of the, like the pimps, the, uh, everybody like the side pieces. Everybody was out in, in mass buying flowers. <laughs> I was the, I was the only, uh, non game banger there. <laughs> Good grief. You're the um, only uh, regular blue collar white guy but it's yeah it's it's shocked me because i thought like okay well it's gonna be the same old like you know sad looking dudes buying their wives uh flowers is that you see you uh and it wasn't what you were but it wasn't at all what i was expecting it was um everybody and anybody like all these guys that you think you were passing you would, you would, judgment on them right you would picture them rapping about not drugs and hoes not and loving hoes. these hoes yeah. and, and not getting these hoes flowers but they but. were secretly out there <laughs> buying flowers of <laughs> sons of bitches <laughs> that's why you don't like so that's a lesson <laughs> lesson for the kids whatever you hear in these rap lyrics is not is not it's real life bullshit man those thugs are really out there you know they i mean they care about girls they do. I mean, it's uh, of course they do. They gotta have two face, two face motherfuckers. Dude, though. I'm, I'm getting angry just thinking about it. God damn it! I'm, I'm I don't it. care. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. And then I went to there's a little Italian place down the street from our apartment, and they have uh, fresh pasta. And I bought some of that, and then um, and then you uh, emptied out in the uh, in a dish, and you said you like made pasta for. Her. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, it's, uh, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> okay. You said you cook dinner. No, no, okay, so you... <laughs> so they sell frozen stuff and they freeze it, or okay. uh, they, ah. they oh. make fresh stuff and they freeze it, <laughs> I got and you, you can buy it frozen. frozen. Okay, and you just kind of thaw it out. And then you, uh, yeah, you don't even have to thaw it out. You <sighs> just put it in the boiling pot and you cook it up, and then you have a nice little I've seen dinner. those. Like, uh, those are like, the, I used to get those in college. Like, they come in, like, a bag and go get them at, like, the store, and then you just throw them in, like, a stove top, <laughs> mm-hmm. and they just kind of, like, hey, I've never seen anything like this before. But, like, you don't have to preheat anything. It just kind of, like, melts into this awesome, like, pesto something or the other. It's like sure. you got a meal. It's nuts. I've never seen anything like that yeah. before. Has Trish ever cooked anything? Trish, Paul's girlfriend, ever cooked anything that wasn't, like, good? Like, how, what did you... Or has it, everything been edible? Don't bring this up right now. No, it's, it's I mean, it's... Massive, man. She, uh... She experiments. And, um... Yeah, I mean, it's... You it's, can you it? But even if she made something bad, would you still eat it and pretend it? Oh, or you no, just be like, no, no, you just no, hear like, no, no, no. <laughs> I can see like no, no. Paul eating some like nasty food. He's just like, starts speaking in Russian. <laughs> <laughs> and just throws it in the dumpster. <laughs> and then goes back to his. <laughs> <room>. <laughs> Baba Ganoush, yeah. What about you? Like, has your mom or oh, girl yeah, have yeah. cooked anything she's that wasn't de- she's good? She's definitely made something not good before, and I told her. Yeah, you're just like, Mom, don't... Don't, don't ever make that again. Don't make that again. Yeah, my I, mom. I, was like, I was like, I appreciate the effort, but please don't ever make that again. I won't eat it. See, I'm such a nice guy. I had, like, an ex-girlfriend make spaghetti. And both of y'all have met her. White, white girl. Only white girl ever. Okay. Ah, some spite me. 
Dude, and uh, anyway, she made spaghetti and I ate it and it was like the saltiest shit I've ever put in my mouth. <laughs> like, <laughs> if a snail would have been in the same room as a spaghetti, <laughs> it would have melted. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's how salty this shit was. Oh, somebody was salty. And so she, was, so I ate some. And she was like, oh, you don't like it? Because I wasn't, like, eating the whole thing. And I was like, no, it's, it tastes good. <laughs> and then I started putting, like, ketchup and mayonnaise in it, like something to, <laughs> all that salt to like, fight it. <laughs> but Jeez. I couldn't do it. Ketchup and mayonnaise instead of spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> and so the next day there was so much left. She was like, oh, just eat, like, spaghetti. Because I always eat leftovers. And I was like, I can't eat the spaghetti. <laughs> and so, do you and feed so, it to the dog? And so she had a cat, right? Uh. <laughs> and so, like... <laughs> I said I was I was walking out of the fridge with a big pot of spaghetti and I stepped on the cat. I blamed it on her cat, and then uh, I spilled it all on the floor. Oh no, shit! And then I threw it in the dumpster, <laughs> and I even took a little bit and like <laughs> smeared it on the floor. Like I did a bad job of cleaning up something I didn't even spill. <laughs> did you take the cat's balls and like dip them in it? No. And then uh, so she came home and she was like, "What happened to the spaghetti?" And I told her I was like, "Oh, I was walking backwards from the fridge. Your fucking cat was in the way. Stepped on it, spilled it everywhere. I just had to throw it away." And she was just like, oh. But she did not buy into the story. <laughs> oh. I don't know how she solved the equation, but like she solved it. I think that was the... How well, how many months before the demise of the relationship was that? This was Ooh, like... That's a good question. This is like midway point. I think we dated for a year, so this was like six months in. Dude, you might have just told us like the, the first... Uh, <laughs> first trigger because you know cause, yeah because you know she remember that shit forever of course she and did. that's uh <laughs> if you would have just ate that damn spaghetti dude <laughs> <laughs> your life would have been so Russell's amazing. like you can't make me <laughs> you can't make me I remember she texted me that's how i know she solved it because she texted me and she oh, was shit. like when i was at work she was asking me questions like what'd you clean it up with like what shoes were you wearing <laughs> were you <laughs> and like because she was trying to like add everything up you're an idiot. Why'd you even answer those questions? <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I did or not. I just like I don't remember. Oh, okay, good answer. Good answer. <laughs> yeah, like, sometimes like, I dropped spaghetti. I was in the heat of the moment. I cleaned up and I threw it away. Shut Anyways, up. I'm a gentleman. If a girl cooks something that I think is disgusting, I'll pretend to eat it and just blame it on something else. The reason I threw it away. So that's if there's leftovers, right? <laughs> yes, yes, if there's, there's, there's leftovers. Okay. All right, fair enough. Yeah, I just totally don't like it. <laughs> something about being honest be oh honest. i believe in honesty too like i'm really honest about like 99 percent of the things but like when it comes to like spaghetti and other things <laughs> when it comes to food when it comes to food i have to be honest food's one of those things i love man if i don't like it I'm see how paul's eat. looking at you he's looking at you with doubt about what i said <laughs> i'm honest I about know. everything <laughs> yeah i know i know i know i know exactly how paul was looking at me i just chose not to acknowledge it and i knew and i knew the bullshit you were spewing so i just whatever so the last like three or four girlfriends that like either y'all dated has there been like a trend you've seen like with girls like they all do this not use toilet paper <laughs> like is there something all girls do that you're like why do they do this like breathe <laughs> <laughs> breathe or breed <laughs> have a pulse which is extremely annoying sometimes <laughs> why is your heart beating <laughs> You mean like it's the little presence. things? Like they can have a heart and a pulse, just like not around you. Ask me stupid questions. <laughs> Which is every question. Uh, ever asked. yeah. Watch uh, stupid, stupid shows. True. Like how bad? Like um, Gilmore Girls. Like I haven't, I haven't had cable since I live with Ashley. Mm. And Ashley used to watch Team Mom all the time. Oh, dude, it would drive me Team crazy. Mom. That's so, so good. Um. <laughs> And, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's the dumb, like, the dumb drama. You're like, why do all girls like these stupid fucking shows? And I understand why. I totally get it. But it's it's Help the fact that they do it. It's the fact that they do it that still upsets me. Is it because, like, they're buying into it and they're almost, like, believing well, it? Well, yeah, it's, it, it's like, if you were to hook up the female brain to an uh, MRI machine while Team Mom is on... <laughs> Really, you, you would you would see it's like the cerebral cortex. Yeah, is you would see on. like it's, it's really. like their family member or somebody is pregnant, and they're really hundred <laughs> percent invested in it. Uh -huh. And um, it's just you need they need that drama in their life, and I understand that. Um, 
so it's stressful. So TV, have you seen like? I mean, I understand that completely. Exactly what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Like girls love their like stupid shows. Right. So that's why I, l- I let it slide because it's it's not you drama my, my relationship. Yeah. It's the drama that she's getting from the TV. Okay. So the, I get it. I get it. So it's, it's kind of like it's nurturing her. It, it's it's putting the drama somewhere else and not right. at directly. It, it doesn't. So so that way I don't have I see. to. I see. I don't want to hit her <laughs> and, and cause real drama. I see what you're saying. That she crazy. Uh-huh. I got so it. So I'm totally okay with it. I get it. I get it. What I've noticed with like the last like four, I'll say go like last four or five girls I've like hung out with, talked to, dated, or whatever. Like girl, I haven't met one that cooks. Every one of them likes to eat out like three times a day, two, three times a day. And like me, like if I invite you over to like come hang out, like let's hang out, like and then like when you're hungry, you're like let's go eat. I'm like yeah. No, like, well, I that's can, like, that's a sure. Let's make some. That's yeah. a Western. That's I, do, I haven't the, met the one of the parts of the downfall of the Western civilization. I just have is. not met a girl that cooks. I don't know what it, I think it's because they like to Snapchat their food so much. They like like to go out to eat. They're, they're like showing off that they're that they're at somewhere. Oh, you know what? It's a status, status thing. A status. It's a status thing. thing. Yes. They want to oh, be sure. seen. Maybe that's part of it. They want to be seen out trying to look like they're a socialite or something like that. Yeah, like like they're going trying to, to like climb the, some sort of obligatory, yeah. stupid social. You dumb girls aren't tricking me. I know that, like, you when you go to Torchies and just take picture of your food. <laughs> Not a status thing. Like, it's much more of a status thing if you know how to cook. That means that, like... Oh, I, I agree. Know, like, you're... There's something about making your own food that's awfully satisfying. Yeah. Like me, like, I just... I eat so basic. I could survive off of eggs, chicken, Fact. and broccoli. And I will, I will combine those in different meals every time. Sometimes I'll put them all in a blender and make chicken, broccoli, pancakes. <laughs> sure. 